students coming to the next topic in the subject da is backtracking so let us see the backtracking general method here so uh, this backtracking is mainly used to solve the problems in which a sequence of objects is chosen from a specified set so that the sequence satisfies some criteria backtracking the name itself is saying we are going back a backtracking coming forward and checking the condition and if it is not satisfied again we are going back and take another series so we are just checking the conditions so it is and let me write this it is used this backtracking is used to solve problems in which a sequence of objects so let us take the sequence of objects is chosen from a specified set from a specified set so that the sequence satisfies some criteria so that the sequence satisfy some criteria that is about the backtracking so when we use this backtracking uh, there is a sequence of decisions you have to take a when you are taking the problem you, to solve that problem we have to take a sequence of decisions to be made from a uh, number of available choices so let me say when we use this backtracking as a, a number of suppose different choices will be there different choices or number of choices will be there so in this number of choices we have to select we have to take a decision so there is a sequence of decisions to be made from number of available different choices where a sufficient information is not available on the best choice suppose a sufficient information is not available on best choice okay so in that cases if, if you didn't get the sufficient information on the best choice again you do, just do the backtracking or each decision leads to a new set of choice each decision so whatever the decision you are taking leads to new set of choices again we have to select the choice when we are reaching one uh, particular decision again this decision is leading to another different choices in that choices also we have to be select whether we get the optimal solution or not and some sequence of so choices may be sol uh, solution to your problem okay so then how uh, how we will we will use this backtracking a backtracking is a backtracking is a systematic systematic method you just call it as a systematic method of trying out trying out various sequences various sequences of decisions until you find out the uh, whatever that works until you find out that works in that case you uh, like that you will use a backtracking so backtracking means just simply whenever you are leading to find out some problem so uh, in some cases you are having a sequence of objects is we have to be chosen from a specified set of sequences so uh, in that we have to check criteria based on the criteria you are just selecting the best path if you didn't get your solution again you go back and again check for and take the another sequence of decision and again check forward so in that also if you didn't find the solution again go back and take another decision and check whether there is a uh, check the sequence of uh, choices in that decision and find uh, until you reach your uh, solution that is a backtracking backtracking going back that's it 
so let me explain like suppose if you take if you start from this position and the start a node is there okay so this is a start node from this you are going to check for here but this is your not a uh, solution again you are checking but it leads to a dead dead end here finally there is no node so this is a dead end so what you will do again you come back backtrack suppose here is another path is there okay so this is also a dead end what you will do again you come back okay again you come to your starting node so you here you will check another decision uh, route is there or not so here one more path is there so you are checking here you are going this side okay so this uh, is not your solution again you are going here but it leads to a dead end so backtrack this is already you are not it's not your solution so again you came uh, come back come back okay and check another path is there or not yeah it's another path is there okay you are going here so from here you are checking this side this leads to a dead end so you didn't find your solution so come back and check here the path is there or not suppose if it is path is there okay so finally suppose this is a node which is a success node means you reached your destination okay so a sequence of decisions you are going from this and this this by checking everything if you didn't find the solution you are coming back that is a backtracking so this node you call it as a success node and this you call it as a e node so which leads to a success e node which leads to a success and these nodes you call it as a dead nodes dead ends because it 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 uh, doesn't provide a solution to your uh, path means this is this you call it as a dead ends okay let me so this is a dead end a node which further there is no nodes that you call it as a dead ends suppose these you call it as a live nodes these are live nodes let me write so these are live nodes and this you call it as a e node and this is a success node this you call it as a successor successor success node and this is a dead node okay so these are the just terms related to the backtracking i'm just explaining these nodes so live node is nothing but a node which can be generated okay which can be further generated generated and all of its children have not at been generated means they are not at being generated so you this is a way to go to next node okay so you are going like that and coming to e node e node is nothing but it is a live node whose children are being generated those the live node children are being generated and that becomes a successor so that you know that node you call it as a e node and coming to the dead node dead node means node which is not to be expanded further so further you can't expand that node so that will becomes the end of that uh, tree so that node you call it as a dead node so here many problems so whatever the problem you are taking in the back uh, algorithms so many problems can be solved by using backtracking requirements and all solutions satisfy a complex set of constraints so whatever the problem you are taking that you, uh, that problems can be uh, solved uh by taking all solutions which satisfies a complex set of constraints so those constraints you called as two types of constraints will be there two type of constraints are present in backtracking so those are uh implicit constraint explicit constraint so these are the two constraints that are used in the backtracking so implicit constraint is a rules that specifies how each element in a tuple should be related whereas explicitly saying that rules that restrict each element to be chosen from a given set okay so uh, the different applications that are present in uh, backtracking is applications the applications of backtracking are what are the applications and queen problem and queen problem 
next uh, sum of subsets sum of subsets graph coloring graph coloring and hamilton hamil hamilton okay so these are the four applications that are uh, that uses the backtracking technique so let us discuss one by one each each application one by one with an example and an algorithm in the coming videos thank you